everyone, it's me. <laughs> I want to talk about when people say part of the problem. And I want to say we have people in our lives that we've struggled with since birth. <laughs> you know, being raised in the same family, being raised around the same cousins, aunts and uncles, etc. And you may think of that one person that's always been part of the problem. Well, there's someone's, you know, too drunk on drugs. It never moved out of the house, never became responsible. You know, there's always someone that's, that is the topic of discussion at every kitchen table. And I want to say there's, there's some people that seem to always be part of the problem. And in order for there to be a problem, two people have to participate. Because if you walk into a forest and the tree, a tree falls in the forest, does it make a sound? We don't know. But if I walk into the forest and the tree falls in the forest and I hear it, I, I say, yes, it makes a sound. But the sound has to have a receiver in order to be heard. And <laughs> because if the tree falls down across the way on the other side of the lake and I don't hear it, uh, chances are someone else is. And so obviously it has made a sound because there's a receiver. And so when we're talking about someone who's part of the problem, it's not just that one person that's part of the problem. We're all part of the problem. <laughs> it's just it's just the way it is. I'm going to talk about a family situation um, that happened a number of years ago, probably 15 years ago, maybe 10 years ago. I don't even know. Um, I had an aunt that lived with my grandmother, and she was an alcoholic, and she drank. and um, Everybody knew about it, but nobody talked about it. She always had a beer. It's, just the way it was. She was a kind person. She took care of my grandma, but she drank. And so nobody said anything, not one person. <laughs> and so finally there was an intervention because she had fallen, couldn't get out. My grandma couldn't get her up and it ended up being a problem that couldn't be solved. And, and there, there had, something had to be done. So there was an intervention, AA, you know, the, someone from AA came and this and that. And I finally said, are you going to stop drinking? And she said, no. And I said, Grandma, it's up to you. And she, I said, no more alcohol. She says, okay, no more alcohol. And it, it, it worked, fortunately, because everyone got involved. But what can we do if there is someone that's always part of the problem? How do we become part of the solution? Well, we can refrain from getting involved with that person, but also we can refrain from participating in conversations about them. Because sometimes when someone is sick, that's all we talk about. We don't talk about anything else. You might have had something really exciting in your life happen, but because that person's still part of the problem, we all get overlooked and nothing else matters because all people think about is that one person they're using or they're abusing or they're, they're just sick. So. What do we do? We can be the change. We can say, you know what? I can't make that person stop doing what they're doing, but I now, from now on, instead of talking about them and the fact that they're part of the problem, I'm gonna be part of the solution. So we are now going to talk about something else. And when someone jumps in and says, well, I really wanna talk about this and this and that, Sorry, my hair is so funny right now. Um, when someone jumps in and says, you know, we need to talk, no. What we need to do is we need to talk about something else. We need to go in a different direction because that person, they're only part of the problem because we're participating and we're allowing this to happen. But if we wanna be part of the solution, we're going to need to cease being part of the problem and we need to start doing something different. We need to start behaving differently and acting differently and having different conversations. We're not going to talk about this person anymore because that person has the right to choose what they want to do, but they have the right to, to face the consequences as well. So what are we going to do? Are we going to be part of the problem or are we going to finally be part of the solution? I would rather be part of the solution <laughs> mainly because what someone else chooses to do with their life is their choice. I can't control them, but 
let all you all have to do is let that person know we would love to have you around but we have certain expectations now in this family in this group in this home that if you're going to be part of this family you're going to have to be part of the solution which means you have to work on whatever it is that is holding you, you back from being a healthy part of this family unit so that's what I wanted to talk about. Are you part of the problem, part of the solution? I know we always blame other people. So-and-so's drinking, so-and-so's doing this, so-and-so's doing this. Let's stop talking about so-and-so. Let's talk about me. <laughs> Let's talk about you. Let's talk about someone else. Let's talk about peace, happiness, joy. What's the latest vacation you went on? What's the last song you sung? What, what's the last greatest show you watched? I recently watched the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame special. I think it's on Prime. But you had a ton of really, of inductees singing together. And I was so excited. You got to watch the part with B.B. King. His face ex exudes his music. He was singing with Stevie Wonder. They were singing one another's music. I mean, there was just a ton of singers. We had Metallica. You had Billy Joel. You just, you had, you know, the Black Eyed Peas. There were just a ton of people. And James Taylor, uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. I mean, just at Bonnie Raitt's. Patty Smith or Smythe, I forgot how we say her last name, but just a really exciting group of people that came together to sing, to make joy, to make music, and to to co you know to collaborate with one another. It was really exciting to hear their songs sung by different people. And Sting came out on stage. I was really excited to watch it. So, anyways, if you're not going to be you know if you're going to be part of the problem, choose that. But if you want to be part of the solution, we have to start doing things different. That's all I wanted to talk about. We'll talk again soon, and we'll signing off. Bye.